this is a video to basically show you how I got on at MCM Expo. It was my first um, expo in London, um, so I was really excited, and we were going for the whole weekend as well. Um, so I figured I'd just make a video just to show you what I got up to and what I bought and uh, basically tell you about the experiences I had. So here's the uh, video footage I got um, of the expo and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm randomly talking to myself now that then. Um, MCM Expo, fun times. This is the queue. Actually crazy, so we're just making our way in now. Um, <laughs> I can't say we're talking to myself. You are weird. We all know that. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going the wrong way. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do some more filming when we get in. See what there is to see. We are in, and this is how crowded it is. It's absolutely insane, but I'm so excited. Okay, we have to say, and it was not this pack. So, happy! <laughs> and just so many people. I swear it's changed since yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can find. Should be really interesting. <gasps> Dragon Ball Z! On the wall! Spider-Man's holding an event as a Captain America shield, is that right? Captain Spider-Man. Captain Spider-Man, there we go. Ben's got it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not feeling so cold today. Lots of people, very exciting. Hopefully not as many as yesterday. Missouri up ahead. Huh? Missouri up ahead. Missouri on another stormtrooper. I see Missouri! about 
the only cosplays I actually recognise today. Wants a hug, really. No, I don't. Mind. He does. Oh, Juliet! In the most daring of the Juliet costumes, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> that was a that be the bikini one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bikini one. Okay, uh, See who else we've got. And we are in. <laughs> day three. I can't believe it's day three already. Um, Changed again. Um, so many Because I was a bit nervous about videoing around the expo, I um, was a bit mumbly and I felt a bit insecure talking to myself at a camera, so um, apologies for that. Um, basically, 
day one, I was dressed as, I didn't get any footage of day one, but I was dressed as um, Lolita Alice in Wonderland. And I saw lots of characters that I liked, including um, Hinamori Amu-chan from, uh, from Shugo Chara, which was really exciting for me because I've just started getting into that anime and I've nearly finished the first series and I love it. So I was really excited to get a photo with, with her. It's Friday was nice and quiet, so um, yeah, I was able to, you know, get around and have a look at all the amazing stuff that was there. I was literally bouncing up and down with excitement um, on the first day. Day two, I cosplayed Zero Suit Samus from Metroid, but I cosplayed the Super Smash Brothers version. Um, but amazingly, people recognised who I was which was really exciting and um, I think the most exciting part was uh, I got asked by official Nintendo to have a photo taken um, for them to put on their website which was amazing, um, a real dream come true for me because Nintendo were like the first gaming sort of company that I was aware of. Um, I used to play Mario on the Super Nintendo at my granddad's when I was really little. People laughed at me because I actually have never played any of the Metroid games. Don't kill me. Yeah, I've never actually played any of the Metroid games, which is a bit shameful. But I have played Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so technically that counts, especially since that Samus was the one I modelled on. So yeah, photo by Nintendo, which is up on their website now. Follow the link. It's really exciting. Also, I met Tom Skur, the creator of Asdaf Movies. I have a wristband. Um, I have this wristband that was uh, from Asaf Movies, and you've got the I Like Trains kid right there, which is really exciting. And if I can find it, hopefully I can. It's on a bit of paper. I have Tomska's autograph. I was very excited, and um, I told him how um, my boyfriend and I had made a pie flavored pie, which I think he quite liked. Yeah, that was um, day two, um, basically. Um, it was really, really good fun, and I had an amazing time. Uh, day three, I was dressed like this. Um, I was originally going to be wearing a long blonde wig, but I figured actually I feel like wearing pink, and the shorter wig was a lot easier to control, basically, and look after. So I went dressed like this, um, in my all my lady cosplay, and I literally just walked around and videoed people, and because I'm a cosplay representative, for my anime, manga and cosplay society at uni, I asked lots of people how they made their costumes um, so that I could give the guys back at uni some feedback on how to make their own. So yeah, it was really interesting to go around and actually ask people how they'd done their cosplays. I left partway through to get changed and come back so that I could literally just, I could be comfortable and walk around and do a bit of last minute shopping. Um, and that was day three. So day three was felt pretty short and I was very sad as you've heard, I could hear the announcement saying that the expo was closed and I felt quite sad because it had been such an amazing weekend. So yeah, um, I guess now um, I can show you what I bought. My goodie bag. This is very cute, I got this off the store where um, I got a couple of my things. But the first thing I bought was um, this. I bought the Humpty Look and the Dumpty Key from Shugo Chara. You can see Namori on there and um, Van Niki and Sue on the back. I'm go I really want to cosplay Sue. I love her so much. As you can see, the Humpty Look and the Dumpty Key. I just saw those and I was like, I've got to buy them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I should be wearing them now, really. I got given a free poster, which I got me to open. Second thing I bought is Pocky. Very excited. I haven't opened it yet. It's been weeks since Expo and I've yet to open it, but I thought I've got to get some strawberry because I love um, Mikado, which is like, I think, the English version of Pocky, um, but I had to get some actual Pocky, so I was kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm getting it. Um, what else did I get? Let's that. <laughs> I think they'll be happy because I'm advertising basically, but um, yeah, Tofu Cute, that was an awesome stall. I had a lovely chat with the lady on the stall, she was lovely. Got this one, 
notebook little memo pad it's really cute um there were four different ones and the lady on the stall actually had to help me choose which one um to buy but i was kind of like i'm just gonna go with the cake one this one is very cute so i think you'd be able to tell i'm a bit of a stationary freak because i also got this which is literally just a very slim notebook with some very kawaii cute pictures on the front so that was I think pretty much what I bought, although we did go, I forgot to mention this, but we went to the Doctor Who uh, mini experience when we had a photo taken of Amy Pond right there. <laughs> and then there's like a slot, and I got three out of four stamps. You had to buy something to get the last stamp, so I was like, mm, no, I'm alright, thanks. Overall, overall Expo was a brilliant weekend, and I had loads of fun. And it was a really good experience from a cosplayer's point of view, um, from a gamer's point of view. I learned quite a lot actually, which is funny, it's not what you really go to Expo to do is, is learn, you, but you go more for the fun of it, but actually I did learn quite a lot. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm currently dressed like this. The Anime Manga and Cosplay Society I'm a part of, um, well we were going to have a big like charity event together where we would raise money for children in need but we were told we wouldn't be able to have like a big party or anything we decided to go around and collect money for charity in Little Bucket so we went around all together in our cosplays um, around the university and all together we managed to collect over £400 people gave so much money um, one guy was generous enough to give us a fiver um, and then like loads of people giving us pound coins, two pound coins, it was brilliant. So we actually managed to raise lots of money and lots of people said to us, since you, you know, made such an effort with your costumes, you know, I might as well give you some money. So actually cosplaying really helped and apparently lots of people were asking about the society as well and have signed up. So that's really good news. Yeah, so that's that. Um, for now and um, I'll show you a couple more pictures now and uh, thanks for watching. Bye!